Jeremy has uh, spoken about the pledge that we will all be signing today, and I'm sure none of us will have any difficulty signing that particular pledge on expenses, not least because the Conservative Party in the European Parliament is the only party that already yeah, has yeah. comprehensive breakdown of our expenditure published. We've had the right to know um, regime uh, from our party in force since last September. And in fact, many of us had the breakdown of our expenses uh, available to the public over a year ago, myself included. So um, there's not a lot that um, we're going to have, well, there's nothing we're going to have difficulty with. Um, and this is really an extension of what we've been doing already. And there's no other party that is being as open and transparent as we are, and indeed have been for many months now uh, in the European Parliament. And bear in mind also that there will be a member's, new member statute uh, that will affect all of us, that everybody in the European Parliament uh, after July, um, which will also take account of a lot of the other things which uh, publics all across Europe have questioned about the regime under which MEPs uh, live. Um, I have to say that there are any number of regrettable aspects about this expenses scandal, uh, and we've talked about that, and it's been in the press, uh, and of course um, this has presented enormous difficulties, and we understand the public anger that there's been uh, uh, out there, the result there. But one of the great regrets is that this has been a distraction from all the other big issues which are affecting our country. Uh, no one is talking about, at the moment, the economy. No one is talking, really, about the relationship with Europe. And this is a, a vitally important matter uh, for our country and, indeed, for us as a party. And these European elections really ought to be about that whole question of the nature of our relationship with Europe what we get out of the European Union, and most importantly, how we want it to change direction and how we're going to do that uh, over the coming years. The fact is that the British people, and indeed people in many other countries as well, want more control over their politicians, more control over those taking decisions about their daily lives. This is the last moment to be transferring more powers to remote bureaucrats in Brussels. And that is precisely uh, what this government has been doing by signing the Treaty of Lisbon and refusing the British people a referendum on that treaty. And I have to say that I'm proud as Conservatives to be in the forefront uh, of those fighting against the Treaty of Lisbon, which in effect, as you know, is the European Constitution. We've had campaigns all over at the east of England. Our MPs, our MEPs, our candidates have all been involved for many, many, many months on this vital issue to the future of our nation and protecting our sovereign integrity uh, in this country. So it is a great issue. And don't let any other party mislead you into thinking that it is uh, making the running on this, because we are the ones that have fought hard on this. And David Cameron has promised the British people uh, a referendum uh, on that treaty. David Cameron has also promised that he will fight to bring powers back from Brussels uh, to our national government, because we think that far too many powers have been handed over to Brussels. He will start with social and employment policy. There are other policies as well which we would like included in that, which we will be working on in the future. That is a vitally important pledge. And we will have the opportunity to work hard and deliver on that particular pledge. But there are many other things as well. We've seen under this present government, seven billion of Britain's rebate to the European Union being given back. This was this hard fought over rebate, seven billion pounds. Most of it back ended, would you believe, until after the general election. Billions more being paid to the European Union at a time when we haven't yet got on top of the waste and indeed corruption uh, which exists in Brussels. And we are the party, the Conservative Party is the one mainstream party which has consistently refused to sign off the European Union's um, budget year after year after year when, as you know, the European Court of Auditors has refused to sign it off. So we have a very good track record and we will continue to fight on that particular issue. But of course the other side of the coin uh, is that we want to try and get the best out of the European Union 
for uh, the people of the East of England and indeed for the stand up and speak for the people of the United Kingdom. And I think we're doing that as Conservatives in so many areas. We are the party that is uh, in tune with our rural communities. We are the party which stands up for our farmers and our fishermen. We are the party which is fighting against all this excess regulation on business, but at the same time we want our businesses to have the opportunity to, uh, to, to use all the advantages of a vast and properly effective single market. These are some of the things that we want for them and which we're working hard to deliver. Ladies and gentlemen, I think this forthcoming election is about the integrity of government and it is about change. Because it is with Tory MEPs in Brussels and a Conservative government at Westminster that we can deliver the change which we think the British people really want. We are going to form a new political group in the European Parliament. I'm proud to have had a key role uh, in bringing that about, working very closely with Marc Francois, the Europe Minister in London. I've been the Brussels end of that particular aspect. This will give us uh, a new visibility, a new coherence, a new political voice in the European Parliament to drive forward the sorts of reforms which we think people are demanding and which are so necessary. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope we have a very successful <coughs> election campaign. I hope people will not be distracted entirely by some of these other issues which are going on and focus on the main issue, which is really the nature of our relationship with Europe, making sure that we don't pursue the path of European political integration, but at the same time, we get the best out of Europe for the British people. Thank you very much.